Praise be Jesus and Mary. Now and forever. Today we celebrate this memorial of Blessed Giles of Assisi, a man about the same age and from the same hometown as St. Francis of Assisi. And he was one of the first commandment uh, companions. Uh, first there entered Bernard of Quintavalle, and then Peter Catani, and then Giles would be the uh, third companion of St. Francis, having been edified by the example and also by the preaching of St. Francis. So he entered in the year 1209 and would go on to um, live a pilgrim life. He traveled to the holy sites in Spain, St. James of Compostello, and then on to the Holy Land. And uh, finally, he would come back to Assisi and St. Francis assigned him to the hermitage at Monte Ripido, which is near Perugia. And Blessed Giles was known uh, for his strict observance of the rule, uh, observing poverty and simplicity, and also for the gift of prayer that he had, the gift of contemplation and heavenly wisdom. He was just a simple man, as I said, a farmer, not a theologian, uh, but at the same time, he was given great wisdom from above. And for this reason, people would come to him and seek his advice, his counsel, including the Pope. And some of his sayings have been written down and we still have them today. In fact, you can find the book, The Golden Sayings of Blessed Giles of Assisi. Uh, you can find it online in PDF for free at saintsbooks.net. And so Blessed Giles uh, gives us an example of a man who obeyed the Holy Spirit, right? This is what we hear from St. Peter and the Apostles in today's first reading. The Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. And so we see Blessed Giles obeying the Holy Spirit, uh, first of all, in responding to his vocation, right? He was inspired and edified and moved to give away all of his possessions and to join a very difficult life in following St. Francis. Uh, and so he was obedient to this inspiration and he lived faithfully his vocation uh, for 53 years, okay? He died in the year 1262, um, having observed a lot of turmoil in the order, uh, but nevertheless, always faithful in obeying the Holy Spirit, in obeying God, in cooperating with the graces of his vocation. And so we too, uh, well, actually I want to read one of the sayings of Blessed Giles with regard uh, to vocations. Okay, a man came to him and asked Brother Giles advice whether it would be better for him to enter religious life. Holy Brother Giles answered, if a very poor man knew that a valuable treasure was buried in some public field, would he ask another's advice whether he should go quickly to the treasure? How much more should men hurry to dig up a heavenly treasure? Okay, this heavenly treasure of the vocation to religious life. In St. Francis, he was so pleased with Blessed Giles at his fidelity, his simplicity, really embodying everything about the Franciscan vocation and spirituality, uh, that uh, this is what St. Francis used to say. Blessed Francis, seeing the perfect grace and virtue in, in Brother Giles, and that he was always ready for every good work, especially loved him, and from time to time would say of him to the other friars, this is my night of the round table. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.